So today I'll be showing you guys how to make your Valorant more vibrant. And I already made this video like a couple weeks ago. I think it was like two or three weeks ago now. But I wanted to do this video just because it got a lot of traction in such a short amount of time that I was like, damn, that's a lot of people. And with a lot of traction came a lot, a lot of questions. And I could, I just couldn't answer all of them because it was like so many questions. I tried to get to as many as I could. But I just couldn't, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to make a different video for this. Because in my last video, I actually missed out on the literal best way to like make your game vibrant. In the last video, I showed two different ways, which was Razor Cortex and Vibrance GUI. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys the same ones, but like I missed one. And it's probably the most important one. We're well, not the most important one, but like the best one. And also, if you guys had any questions, I will probably answer them. So make sure to stay throughout the entire video. And also one last thing before I start the video, 99% of you guys aren't subscribed to me. So if you're not subscribed and you're watching this, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed. It really helps me out. But anyway, let's get right into the video. Now the first way to make your Valorant brighter is on your main screen. All you want to do is right click. And then you want to go to NVIDIA control panel or if you have an AMD radon, I don't know what the difference is. But I'm pretty sure there's something similar if you have like a different GPU other than NVIDIA. But all you want to do is go over here, adjust desktop color settings. This does mess with all like the entire screen. So if you want, after you're done playing like Valorant, you can just go ahead and like reset these. And all you want to do here is obviously select the monitor. If you only have one, you should only have like one option. But you can adjust the brightness, the contrast, the gamma, the digital vibrance. That's the main thing I use. The hue, I don't use this at all. It's just like the color. I don't know if you could actually see that when I'm recording. I don't think you can, but if you can, you could see like how it's adjusting like the hue. But let's see. Yeah. There's also adjust video color settings, which is like the same thing, but it's just brightness and contrast and saturation. I rather go with the adjust desktop color settings because you get more settings. And it's literally, if you remember the last time Valorant had like the color settings you all you did was alt z and then you selected whatever like the thingy I, I forgot what it was but this is the exact same thing that valorant used to have before they had to like nerf it or whatever because of the flashes this is literally the same um kind of like settings that you ha used to have and one more thing you could actually do this on laptop as well i'm gonna have it running i actually did this on my laptop because i was like hmm i had a lot of i had a lot of people commenting like can you do this on laptop i don't have nvidia so i was like is there a way to get it if you don't have a graphics card and i tested it on my computer all you have to do i'll have a video in the background but it's basically just the same thing as this and it'll be in the video but yeah that's the nvidia one i'm pretty sure like i've seen a lot of comments saying that oh you can do this on if you have a, like amd graphics card as well and i was like okay that's so you guys that don't have nvidia graphics card you guys have this setting as well it's just like a little different i don't want to apply these no but yeah, all you have to do is right click and video control panel and you should be at the screen. And the next one, it's going to be the Razer Cortex one. I saw a lot of people saying that they got banned for third party software. I've been using Razer Cortex since, I don't know when I got my laptop. It was like around May. I want to say like, I want to say like May 2018. And I, be, I used it for Fortnite for like two or three years. Obviously, they're like different anti-cheats for Fortnite and Valorant, but I've never got banned for using this on Valorant either. I've used it like a couple times on Valorant because I, I use the NVIDIA control panel. And I used this as well just for the video last time. And all you have to do here is... Hold on, I don't even show. Once you download this, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. All you have to do is go to razor.com slash cortex.boost. And I'll leave it in the description so you guys know where to download it and you just download now and then once you're downloaded you should be on this screen and you want to go to booster prime optimize now and then you want to go to make adjustments and you press make adjustments and for me it says digital vibrance is on and for some of you it might be brightness and contrast and your digital vibrance might be like blacked out what this means is that your computer or graphics card can't handle brightness and digital vibrance or vice versa your computer can't handle digital vibrance and it can handle brightness and contrast so if you don't have one of these options, it's fine. As long as you have brightness and contrast, you should be fine. And how do you turn this off is literally just go like this. Or you could just set it to default, I guess. I mean, I saw people trying to uninstall it and seeing if that helped. All you have to do is uncheck this and you're fine. 
I don't know if you guys can see that in my, you know, recording, but and then obviously you press save. Yeah, it's literally just as simple as just turning it on and off. And yeah, I'm not going to be showing you guys how to download the Vibrance GUI because I just think that these two uh, NVIDIA Control Panel and Razer Cortex are just so much better. Because for Razer Cortex, it can raise your FPS as well as like, you know, have your digital vibrance or whatever. And for the people that said they got banned for Razer Cortex, I feel like that is like, I don't know how to describe it. Because it's like, I've never been banned for Razer Cortex. It shouldn't ban you for Razer Cortex. It's like, how do I describe it? I don't know. Maybe like a... Like, let's say there's a hundred needles in a haystack, and they just pick one needle out of that hundred, and they just, like, ban the one person. I, I don't know how they do it, honestly, because it's like... What? I've... I don't know. Maybe it was, like, a different third-party software that got you banned, but I've, I've personally never been banned or anything with Razor Cortex, because Razor Cortex is extremely reliable. It's been... When I used to play like games on my laptop like Fortnite and other games, I don't remember what else I used to play, but I used Razer Cortex to raise my FPS. I it was it did a really good job. My FPS on on my MacBook went from like what, 60 FPS to like 220. So it's it's like it's been safe for me for the past 4 years now. So right now I just have the Nvidia control panel settings on. And this is what it looks like. So some questions that I got was, can you get banned for it? Does it decrease FPS? Neither of these decrease your FPS. I tried it on the laptop as well. And I did get the same FPS on my laptop regardless. So if you're using the Intel integrated graphics on your laptop, it should not drop your FPS. If you're using Razer Cortex, there's a risk. From what I've seen, there's a risk to get banned. I personally haven't had any experience with getting banned. I've used it for literally four years and I've never got banned for it. And if you've gotten banned for it, you can appeal it, honestly. Um, I don't actually know what happens when you get banned on Valorant because I've never been banned before for anything. Like, I have the Razer Cortex running in the background right now, and it's not giving me any issues. Obviously, I'm not in the game or anything right now, but if I get in the game, I still wouldn't get banned for it. But the main, the main thing was, like, the FPS thing and the get banned. For the control panel, you're not getting banned at all, ever, in your life. So that's the one I recommend using. Razer Cortex raises your FPS. I wouldn't worry about it too much because I've seen mostly positive things from everyone because it's not supposed to get you banned. Maybe there was a different third party software on your computer. But yeah, those were the two main questions that I had. And again, I don't like making videos as long. Like I don't like making tutorials like long or anything, but this one had so many questions about it was mostly the same questions over and over again. So. Hopefully this answered your question because I don't really want to make this video again for a couple months now or never again because I mean it's pretty much just NVIDIA control panel or the Intel integrated graphics or AMD Radon. I don't know what the alternative is for uh, AMD graphics cards but I'm pretty sure it's just the same thing as the control panel for NVIDIA. But again I am sorry for making this video extra long like twice as long as the last video i just needed to cover as many things as i could so i didn't get as bombarded with as much questions as last time but yeah uh subscribe for more content like i said earlier like 99 percent of everyone who watched the video last time was not subscribed to me so it would really help me out i don't really have like a specific game i play i just play games like you'll see me make a valorant video every like what once a week like right now i'm just playing like finance or freddy and games like that and obviously I'm going to make Valorant videos. I just don't know like what kind of Valorant videos you guys would like to see. Because like the only thing like Valorant related that I've made in the past like what a couple months is the digital vibrance and settings video. And like a neon tutorial like a couple weeks ago. So if you guys want to request things for me to do that is greatly appreciated. But yeah leave a like if you enjoyed and thank you guys for watching.